Hey everybody, I'm Crow. And welcome back to the giant robot. What made it inside last time? I'll take this. Act three, mission six. Does it see me? I feel like I shouldn't shoot it. That's cheating. Man, they already know I'm in here. I was hoping I could do some kind of stealth stuff and not have to shoot anything. I'm like, can I just peacefully live on this? Can we live on we can we live on the conveyor thing? Harmoniously. Can I coexist with the Russian robots? No, nah, I guess we shoot on sight. What the hell is that? I... okay. Was that... was that intended or is that a glitch? Could have fooled me either way. It looks intended. All the stuff in here is actually in Russian. I was told early on that this is actually like an American space station. And that's why we're not just blowing it up, because we want to get it back. We're doing a pretty good job of absolutely destroying the inside, though, so we probably should have just blown it up. You know? Ooh. So sleepy. Boop. Oh. I can tell it's probably got to be the core. But even still, that's hard to shoot and it has a lot of health. Rocket, give me a rocket. Probably grenades. Wow, they don't leave this thing like vulnerable at all. You gotta be like right up in this thing. No, I'm not using an assault rifle. Like, I knew that assault rifle has the most amount of ammo, but the bullets feel so worthless. This heavy is a good max. Good, we actually shoot parts of it off. Oh, it actually has little legs. I did not notice that before. That's actually pretty silly. I'm pretty sure there was more grenades around here. No, it's a stupid assault rifle. That's the wrong kind of grenade. I just cannot catch this thing.
Dude, I bet melee damage would do like crazy amounts to this. If I could actually hit it. Probably not worth it though. Yeah, no, you're gonna fall. Huh. When you don't try to do the aim thing, it moves a lot faster. Good to know. Maybe I could just kind of wiggle it on the screen. It's not totally ineffective. In fact, this is probably better. And it dropped a shotgun. Oh, this is the boss arena. Go towards the V. I was like, this looks like the room we were just in. It wasn't. That was a bad time to melee. Stop. I'm not, I don't even have ammo for this. Dude, we're like 43 different kinds of dead. These things have so much health. And I'm shooting them with my health. Sniper, I don't really see helping us out too much here. Fine, what's the worst that could happen? I probably could have slid through there real quick, no problem. Why would they design this walkway in such a way that you had to go through this? That is an extraordinarily interesting design. Yeah, can you, like, stop? You're gonna get disintegrated. Okay, well, at least it actually killed them. I kind of expected it to be like, well, no, they're ro robots. Robots can't be atomized. They're made out of robots. I feel like, maybe it's because of Resident Evil 3, but I feel like you can't shoot unless I do this. I'm not doing any hip firing, which is perhaps better for the ammo, but still. It can be dangerous when it makes you, like, stop moving. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. You're gonna bring the whole turret with you? Well, I think they just landed on me and killed me. I'm like, really? That's how this is gonna be? Kill the pilot, but then it crashes on you. That, that must suck in real life. 
Why would they put that there? How is that not disintegrated? It's not even anything cool. I mean, I suppose that's better than like it being one of those disc guns or something. It was better than some possible futures. Well, sorry I keep saying that. I'm just, everything seems really silly to me right now. Because I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day. That should be it for the core, though. It would appear we're going up to the second floor. If it's a thousand feet, though, that's like a hundred floors. Give or take. Actually, if this is the first floor, then this thing's probably only got like six. God, I hate high ceilings. They make me feel sick. Not in video games, naturally, but in real life. Too much open space. Blow it up on. Yeah, we dodged that somehow. Yeah, we shot that rocket, and it was totally intentional. Wow, this big guy is like... Not the worst to bring down. Don't be a blue guy, don't be a blue guy. It's just a red guy. And a very low health one at that. Stupid teleporting. Thank you for the shotgun to the face. Why would it make me do that? Die. Okay, so the kickback on this thing's killer, but still. Awfully vulnerable. It does appear to be made for these, though. That was actually a pretty cool shotgun. Not bad. 320. And that is what I wanted. The cannon's hooked up to this power line, right? If you can destroy the pump source, that should reverse the polarity on the game medium and cause a critical explosion. On it. Reverse the who's and what's it and then blow up the, the thingy we do. Not what it was after, but it'll do. Literally a rocket launcher, dude. Like literally, literally, not even literally figuratively. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Can I can I drive these? No. That's unfortunate. Wait, I'm getting farther away from it. It was actually all the way over here. You say so. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, friendship. It's been a few hours since friendship. The team attack things in Persona 4 are pretty cool. Please get down. Achievement unlocked, short circuit. I wonder whatever that achievement it could have been for. Please let this thing spin all the way around. Thank you. I can't put out the light. So, in what way is this like rock climbing? Did you seriously just try and drop a building on me? Because that's also dropping a building on you. Very convenient that this is here to protect me. Oh my god, friendly. I, I honestly thought we were like seconds from being murdered and it wasted my grenade. Can we simply proceed or must we wait? Oh, her laser cannon was downgraded. Now it's back up to the max. Hmm, I was hoping we were going to get a little higher off that. Oh, okay, there's lots of them in quick succession. I was like, dude, we got a lot of ground to cover. Oh my god, we're going down? We're dead. Yeah, there's zero cover here. So this time we stop for a second to do that because you only have to kill the driver. Uh huh. Then we stop for a second to do that because you only have to kill the driver. I knew you were coming. Is this the elevator? What did we just press? No, that's the elevator. What? Pointless. Are you for real? I wanted the item not to attack them. Why would they be having a dance party? Do I actually have to break up the dance party? That's just rude. Oh, 
Oh, it's a one shot even to those. I think that was supposed to be optional. Another unknown? We just killed one of these. We have way more ammo now, though. Ooh, and the better grenades. The sun grenades actually blow up immediately. So they, like, you know, actually hit things. Well, that wasted my grenade. Achievement unlocked, going for the kill. <laughs> this will come in handy. Ooh, that was some free damage. That was some free damage. Dude. Speed running. Can this be the end? You want me to take this thing out, right? Then what do I do? Well... Hey, I don't plan on blowing up with this thing. Bravo 6. I've rescued the Marines and I'm heading back to the transport ship. We need that laser out of commission now. I'll pick you up when it's done. That helps. I mean, it legitimately does. <laughs> Are we really just unplugging this? That seems like a design flaw. Oh, the trees. Why did the trees have to be there? So much for flying to safety. 
Still, that should be a huge hit to them. Private Daniel Grassi, MSOB2, sir. I was stationed here so I can take you to the enemy positions. Lead on, right? This way, sir. He didn't want our handshake. Achievement unlocked. I don't speak Creon. We died three times. All right, and we're on Act 4, Mission 1. We blew up the big Creon. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.